I'm Maria and I'll be your host for today's session. This is sustainability fashion and media session. And in next hour, you will hear to, uh, the pitch of four strong entrepreneurs. So this is me, the moderator of today with Michal that will be coordinating the backstage. Uh, for some uh, tips, please stay engaged and show some love to your entrepreneurs. Um, please uh, say that you are really like their pitch or any feedback that you might have in the chat. And then you also have the Q&A chat where you can share uh, your questions. So please feel free to um, ask everything that you would like to. Um, also during the session, Michal will share the uh, Get In Touch survey and uh, uh, it will also pop up once you uh, leave the session and you can also um, assess it in the resources. So this survey will really be to uh, you get in touch with the entrepreneur. So after in upcoming days, we will see if you would like to get in touch and we'll um, contact, uh, put you each other in contact. Um, so yeah. Um, so for now, we already have some participants, great. I also want to know, please uh, stay until the end of the session because you have the possibility to um, vote for your favorite entrepreneur and uh, let them win the final prize that is 1,000 euros to invest in their business. So it's pretty huge and it's all in your hands. So please stay in the end. And quickly before starting presenting the entrepreneurs, this is our agenda for today's event. We are now in the pitch session two, sustainability fashion media. Uh, and afterwards we'll go to the winner Sherry Morris session where the final winner will be announced. Um, so for now, these are our amazing entrepreneurs. Uh, before starting, I want to say that they will have five minutes to pitch their idea and uh, followed by some minutes to ask some questions from the audience. Um, so please share your questions in the Q&A uh, session and uh, yeah, we'll address them during the session. So first I want to say that is Asad that is going to pitch. He's the founder of Asad Comedy. Then we have Fatima, she is the founder of Your Vision Media. And then we'll have Asan, the founder of Seifu Fashion Design. So all great entrepreneurs, can't wait to hear them. So therefore I will ask um, Asad to come to the stage and share your uh, presentation while I will talk with you and say something uh, that you might not know. So Asad, please come to the stage. Um, so for those that don't know, Assad, he's, um, he has this talent, he's from Yemen, and he has this talent of making um, annoying daily situations fun. So it's, if you are looking for a good laugh, please stay and listen to his speech because it will be amazing. So good luck, Assad, and I see you um, soon. Thank you, Marie. Uh, uh, would you just let me, uh, allow me to present? Oh, uh, so sorry. Okay, thank you, Marie. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hello, great people. You know, I'm supposed to start with a joke, but uh, I don't have one. Uh, my name is Asad from Yemen, and my name is Asad from Yemen, and I am here to introduce you to my, com my, to my project, a series of comedy videos that are sure to make you laugh and smile. I think we could all agree that we all need some laughter in our life, and that's what I want to deliver as my mission. I uh, we all have those days when you're feeling down or stressed. The world can be a tough place, and sometimes, sometimes there's nothing that can cheer us up. And that's exactly where my videos come in. I want to create videos that lift people's spirit and make them happy. Well, my videos are inspired by movies, series, and daily situations that people know and love. The, the most important ones are as follows. Most preferred social media platforms, what type of preferred video content they co constantly watch, their opinion on the prototype video we included in the survey. And uh, as you can see, the top preferred social media platforms for the survey students, my goal for the next year, 
you know, my, my goal and my aim is to reach 500 subscribers and followers and 500 uh, views, 5,000 views in the next three months for, for across platforms, uh, 2,000 subscribers and 2,000 uh, followers with uh, 20,000 views in the next six months. But from here to now, um, I'd like to have a 6,000 subscribers and 70,000 views. You would say, why didn't you aim higher, you know? Uh, because I'm trying to be reasonable. It's difficult to compete with these uh, social media channels and accounts. I'm trying to be like reasonable. Yeah. You know, we have 30, 100 people in this event. Uh, hopefully I'd like you all to go and follow and subscribe. I'll, I will provide the, the links at the end of the session. And you would say how, how would you reach this, um, this number of people? You know, I know it's, it wouldn't be like easy to do, to do this and to compete in such platforms, uh, but by creating creative videos and consistency, I can even do this number even more earlier. Well, this is my uh, support team. Violeta, Baraskivas, my little sister Yasmin, and Ilanka and Mark. Thank you guys. Uh, this is my YouTube channel, and this is my Instagram and TikTok uh, accounts. And this is me calling you all to go and, and subscribe and follow to my accounts. Yeah, they will do us at just uh, chill out. Yeah. And these are barcodes for my channels. Uh, feel free to, to scan them or take a screenshot. And thank you all for attending this great event. And thank you for your support. Great job. Such a good energy, Asad. Great. I thank love it. <laughs> thank you, Maria. So now it's time for some questions. So while we wait for uh, the questions from the audience, so please, everyone that is there, share your questions in Q&A chat. I will ask you uh, some questions, Asad. So first question is, can you elaborate more why Asad comedy? Oh, please uh, continue sharing your screen. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. So can you elaborate more why Asad comedy is different from other comedy channels? Well, you know, uh, my ideas are unique and no one is making similar videos like mine. I think what I'm providing is uh, original content. And this is a good point of my videos, you know? And coming from Yemeni background, I think no one has uh, create, has created uh, such videos like this. And trying to be the first one, the first Yemeni who creates funny videos in English language to, to, to know, to tell people this is Yemen, you know? Yeah. Okay, that's great. That's a great answer. And how do you plan to generate revenues? This is a question from the audience. Oh, thank you. Actually, uh, as many of us know, uh, social media's accounts, uh, you would be able to generate um, revenue by, uh, by like advertisement. Uh, it depends on the views and how many people are subscribing and watching uh, your content. So the more you uh, what people watch, the more you get revenue. So it's based on advertisement. Also in the future, I'm, I'm hoping that when I get so many views and I will be gaining more views, so in the future, I'd be like um, creating my own merch, but this is in the future, you know, like creating my own merch and sell it like clothes and something like this. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. And yeah. also another question is what inspired you to start posting on social media? You know, uh, I've been like uh, thinking about this idea since I was like uh, 16, you know, and uh, I love this type of, uh, filming, I like to, to be filmed, I like uh, to create funny content that would make people happy. So this is this what drives, uh, drive, uh, driven me to, to create this type of content. Yeah, and I think that answers his question or her. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. And, <laughs> and uh, um, what is your competitive, oh, your uh, competitive advantage? Uh, you already mentioned, so um, yeah, you already mentioned, right? Yeah, I already mentioned. Also, if people would say, uh, no, there's some people who do this. Well, they, they're not uh, creating, uh, creating it their own way, you know? Like, uh, 
everyone has his own uh, way of uh, producing or creating videos and i'm creating it my own unique way yeah that's true and you are doing a great job so thank, thank you, you very much for um your presentation i will now um call fatima to come to oh asad you want to say something yeah i wanted just to tell people don't stop here go now and subscribe and follow my accounts yeah go and great. check it out many more is are coming and many more are going to make you happy great job great okay thank you Thank you a lot. So, Fatima, I will ask you to come to the stage um, so that you can share your presentation. And uh, so, Fatima, she's from Iraq and uh, um, she has a very interesting um, fact that is she's still managing her uh, business while she's studying in the um, high school. So, yeah, uh, it's very impressive. Um, you can start sharing. I just want to remember the audience um, to check yes. the chat because Mihao shared the Get In Touch uh, form. You can also see it on resources. So uh, please don't forget, it's a perfect opportunity for you if you want to get in contact with Asat. Um, yes, this is how you are able to. So Fatima, I will um, let you present and I will come back soon. Good luck. Okay, thank you. Hi everyone, it's Fatima and I'm here to talk to you about your Vizio Media. First of all, why I started my business, your Vizio Media? The reason is that I'm very passionate about uh, entrepreneurship as I really love the idea of accomplishing my vision and purpose through building a business to spread my values to the world. And so entrepreneurship and my business for me is like a means to achieve and accomplish my dreams and goals. And also I'm very passionate about helping others do the exact same thing. That's why I'm here to help sustainable businesses grow with passion all while communicating their vision and values with their customers through our social media bid as service. And that's where the name Your Vision Media comes from because we want to help people turn their vision into a reality through their businesses. So let's get into it. With your Vizia Media, we're addressing two major problems. First is that business owners lack experience in running social media paid ads, which results in not getting the expected results and losing a lot of money. And second is that business owners encounter the difficulty to identify the right target group, their customers' needs, and their unique values, which also results in disengagements, inaccurate targeting, and again, not getting the expected results. The desirability and the need for the marketing services has been proven by looking at the huge number of successful marketing agencies, which indicate there's a huge potential in the market, but it's also a very competitive market. That's why we need to offer a very unique value in order to stand out. So here's where our vision comes in. Our unique value lies in our vision to empower people to achieve and maintain their vision by delivering their values through their businesses. And by doing so, they will feel much more passionate, much more excited working on their business, just like we're very passionate working on our business because we really want to help people like turn their vision into a reality. And how are we going to do that? Is by helping business owners clarify the business vision and make it part of their own vision and by helping them communicate their values with their customers through marketing. And lastly, by focusing on only one service, which is social media paid as service. We are specialized to offer only social media paid ads and we work only with one niche which is sustainable businesses and here's a sequence shot of an ad we created for our business that demonstrate what this online service of paid ads looks like now let's back this up with some numbers about the size of the market. So the total number of sustainable businesses in the Netherlands is 700K and the total number of sustainable businesses with social media presence is 250K and the total number of small and medium uh, sustainable business is 100K. So we're particularly targeting small and medium sustainable businesses that are based in the Netherlands, have a social media presence, and of course they have a vision or at least they're willing to establish one. 
So for our competitor analysis and by comparing our business with other existing options during social media paid ads, your Vizio Media is more cost effective than hiring a team. It's also niche and one service oriented unlike other existing options. It's also mission oriented, which is not true for other marketing agencies and hiring a team. It's also specialized unlike the option of finding paid ads by the business owner themselves or probably not paid ads experts. And at last, we provide individual mentoring, unlike other existing options, to our social media paid ads. Now, let's move to the activities we have already done and the activities we're planning to do. So first, we have conducted market and competitor research, and we have also selected a niche on the businesses we want to offer our service to. And also, we have created and conducted service and interviews, even though we still need more data. Uh, we also said the business foundations like branding, uh, website creation, social media pages, and at last we are currently working on ad an ad experiment. For the next two months, we're planning to have a paid ad expert as a co-founder, which I hope to get over this pitch deck. And also we're planning to reach out to sustainable businesses for the pilot to get testimonials and add them to our website. For the next two months, we are planning to launch the business and start reaching out to potential clients to work with us and at last, of course, to grow and upscale the business. For the pricing, we charge uh, we simply charge a fee of 10% of ad spend. So for example, if your business has a budget to spend on ads of 1,000 euros as ad spend, we charge an additional fee of 100 euros as our service fee, so plus your ad spend. For our marketing as a strategy, first activity we have is uh, reaching out. So simply searching for potential businesses and reaching out through LinkedIn and email. And second, of course, the referrals, which are very important for our business to grow. So have clients refer us to other businesses. For the client roadmap and the whole process of signing up a client, uh, first again to reach out and then to plan and conduct a meeting with businesses that show interest to discuss the business vision and needs. And with that, we're going to offer free consultation in order to set a customized marketing strategy that aligns with the brand vision. And of course, once we sign up a client, we are going to deliver the service, so creating and running the ads. And of course, I want to say thank you from my amazing team for their support. And at last, as I have said earlier, we are looking for a social media a paid as expert as a co-founder to help us with the service delivery. So he should be responsible uh, and should, he should be experienced in running social media ads campaigns. And also he should believe in our vision and actually align with our values. So this is important for me. And also we're looking for sustainable businesses that have a clear vision with social media presence to participate on the pilot and to get the testimonials. So please, if any of you is willing to be a co-founder or participate on the pilot, I would really, really, really love to work together. And that's it for my pitch deck. Thank you very much. And here's my LinkedIn for connecting. And I would really love to stay in touch with you. Thank you. Great job, Fatima. Such an interesting business. I love it all, every time that I listen to you. Really good. Thank you. <laughs> So now it's time for questions. And while we are waiting for uh, answer for questions from the audience, I will ask you what, one question. So can you please clarify your vision and values and how they will be communicated? Yeah, well, uh, one of the values that like of our vision is to feeling passionate and excited working on one's business. So uh, not working on something that not express your values or just feeling more connected with your business. And so this is our, like something that's related that something that I really believe and something that I want to also be in my business. And my vision is basically just to empower people and helping them like do the exact same thing. Okay, great. And a question from the audience is, what is the competitive advantage of these established market agencies? Um, what is your criteria to identify sustainable business and how do you filter them? Okay, so just for the first question, uh, my competitor advantage uh, for your Vizio Media is basically our vision. Like as I have said earlier, uh, like it's very competitive market and most marketing agencies don't have something unique to offer, but we have this vision of empowering people uh, communicating their vision and values with their customers through the paid ads. 
And what was the second question? Uh, so the other question is, um, yes. what is the, how do you identify the business to be sustainable? How do you fit filter them? Yeah, well, uh, they should have some positive impact on the environment and the world in general. So yeah, uh, any business that have this aspect and any, you know, positive impact on the world, uh, we like, this is our target group. Okay. Okay, great. <laughs> great job. Thank you very much. Everyone that would like to get in contact with uh, Fatima, please um, fill in the survey that Mihao just shared on the uh, chat. And also- Yeah, let's get in touch. Yes, exactly. Um, so thank you a lot, Fatima. I will thank now you very call, much. Um, <laughs> thank you. I will now call Mohamed to come to the stage. Uh, I will call Hassan, sorry, to come to the stage. So, uh, Asan, please um, come to the stage and share your um, screen. So, um, Asad, Asan, sorry, um, he is going to present in Dutch, uh, but the uh, slides are in English, so you will not have any troubles because you will be able to understand everything. Um, so, yeah, um, Asan, please share your screen. I just want to, to let any, everyone know that are here. If you know the Queen Maxima, please contact Hassan because his biggest dream since become a Dutch citizen um, is to design and dress the Queen uh, Maxima. So yes, um, don't forget to use the contact sheet and I will uh, now let you and good luck. Yeah, thank you. Hello, Alamal. Al first, I will at Koninkrijk der Nederlander bedanken for the friendlykheid and the good of fun and the help and the flutterling. And erg bedankt for Gemeente Slaus and Gemeente Berchem also for the mooie menselijkheid and omarmen. I am erg proud to be here. I am Hassan Sayou. I come out of Syria, clothing and weaver with a long experience, a specialist in women's clothing. I had my own atelier in Syria, but the last all is through the war had weg. And I will like to in Netherlands a new start with my atelier. By the community back in Oxum, have I a very nice chance to undertake a program to work by forwarding. Bij Forward Inc. heb ik een heel mooi team. Uh, Jemi Staye, Emma, Jasmin en Sander. Wij, wij waren vier maanden erg bezig en heel hard gewerkt. Wij hebben de marketing onderzoek gedaan en ontdekt de analyse en de problemen in de markt. En wat heeft de klant nodig in de moda? Via de interviews en uh, onderzoek, uh, bijna 65% uh, van de vrouwen zijn niet tevreden met uh, de vaste kleding in de markt. 43% uh, van de vrouwen willen graag iets uh, meer uniek en chic dragen. De oplossing is bij CU Fashion duurzaam stoffen met materialen om te verminderen van de CO2 in de milieu. De klant beslist uh, welke soort uh, stof en materialen wil om te zijn kleding te maken of duurzaam stof, materialen of normaal stoffen. Klanten kunnen hun uniek ontwerp kiezen, handgemaakt op maat kleding met eerlijk en hoog kwaliteit. Mijn doelgroep zijn vrouwen uh, hun leeftijd uh, tussen 30 en 60 jaar met uh, middel en hoog uh, inkomen. De vrouwen hebben een tracé in hand gemaakt op maat kleding met duurzaam ontwikkeling van de kleding. Bijvoorbeeld 60 jaar, 49 jaar, uh, ze heeft een heel goede baan met hoog inkomen. En ze wil graag voor haar 50 per jaar dag een uniek uh, jurk dragen. In Nederland bijna drie. Uh, 4 miljoen vrouwen tussen 30 en 60 jaar met middel en hoog inkomen. In, Rot in Rotterdam ongeveer 63.000 vrouwen met middel en hoog inkomen. Door de onderzoek en interviews, bijna de helft van 31.000 vrouwen 
‫אתה בן אינטרסה, אינסייו פאשר. ‫בסייו פאשר הבן דקנאטה ‫מי ראוטר ומון מי קלדן טיפיזן. ‫אוק קלדן פרמקן אנד בריירן ‫כאן בסייו פאשר. ‫דה ברייזן זין אף הנגלג ‫או בלקור סור... ‫סטוף על מטריאל חד דקלנט פיזם. ‫אז דקלנט פיז פנג'יר זם סטוף ‫על מטריאל דן ביטל פיז מיר הו. ‫ויה פורוורד אינג זל איקמנט נייטים, ‫אין או בן דאח מת הסן סיוף ‫אורכניזירן, ‫ואיזולן ויה דה סושיאל מידיה, ‫קרומות סי פור דייזי דאח מאקן, ‫אוקזולן ויה מונט אוף מונט ‫אנפלייארס, ‫מנסן אוט נודכן, ‫פור דייזי או בן דאח, חייבן. Haut mein Link in an Instagram and Facebook in the Haden und die Sehen, wenn ihr auf die Obendach hat worden. Ich sage super, super finden alles hier kommt. Haut mein Haus, wie ihr das ist, von meiner Erfahrung hätte ich vor der ersten Klantin Kleidung gemacht. Ich bin trotzdem so, wenn es so sein, ich bin nicht zufrieden. Es sind noch sieben Klantin, ‫בוחתם את... ‫איך בכין את מיין אטריה, ‫סטארטן, ‫ובימי קלדן תמק. ‫איך בן נוך בזך מתבה בזאת, ‫אין סכסי בן תגאי דקאמר ‫פאנדר קוב הנדל, ‫אין ווייבסייט באווי. ‫אין אוק ורק רמפה ‫אום תפינדן אום אקלנט אום פאנין. ‫מיין רום איז אין אוניק יורק ‫פור דבונים קונים מקסימה תמקים. ‫בין... Binnen het eerste jaar verwacht ik in elk command 10 tot 15 nieuwe klanten te ontvangen. Dan binnen drie jaar kan ik de kosten alles de leiding opgelost worden en de winst maken. Investeren om ik te starten rond 20.000 euro. Werkblik, nieuwe machines, nieuwe nodigheden, het is waar de decoratie. Ik uh, oproep uh, wie kan mij helpen om een werkblik in Rotterdam te vinden. Hij kan uh, via mijn e-mail adres contact opnemen of via mijn social media bericht sturen. In de einde hartelijk dank voor de aandacht en luisteren. Hebben jullie nog vragen? Dan kunt u via de chat mijn stellen. Thank you. Thank you a lot, Asra. Um, it was a great presentation. Um, so now I will call Sander to the stage because yeah. uh, Sander will do it the questions uh, mm -hmm. since he speaks better Dutch than me. Um, so yeah, I will call Asan now, uh, Sander now, sorry. <laughs> um, and yeah, but great job. And uh, I also want to say that uh, if you want to get in touch with Asan, please, um, fill in the uh, get in touch survey that will be shared in the chat so that uh, and also if you know the queen you have you have extra reasons to um fill in so please don't forget that and uh, now I'll pass the word to sander yeah thanks maria hi everyone i'm sander i'm the team facilitator of hassan uh, i speak uh, i am dutch so i can i can translate all your questions to hassan and translate his answers uh, all back to you so if you can send me some questions in the Q&A, then I will pose them to, to Hassan. Yeah, um, I'll send the question and then you will um, translate it directly. Yeah, so I will translate it to <coughs> Hassan. He will answer me in Dutch and I will translate it back to you. Yeah. Um, Hassan, a question from me, uh, because you mentioned you were looking for a permanent workplace. Um, what do you have in mind? So in Dutch, what are you precisely on search in a new workplace, Hassan? Ja, ik zoek een drukke omgeving als Rotterdam voor een winkel of kantoor om een atelier te starten, een atelier te starten. Oké, en hoe groot moet het ongeveer zijn? En welke? Ja, gemiddeld ja, minimaal 75 vierkante meter. Oké. Minimaal. Ja, so his answer was he's looking for a place in. In a, in a large city like Rotterdam, because there's a, more traffic and people uh, that desire tailor-made clothing than his hometown in Bergen of Zoom. Um, 
and is looking for a nice location around uh, 75 square meters. So if anyone has, uh, has, has some connections regarding a uh, store place in Rotterdam, please connect, uh, connect Hassan. Uh, it would be much appreciated. Um, then I see a uh, question in the chat. Um, so first of all, it starts with a, a compliment. Love the design of the logo and the look of the presentation. So Hassan, she finds the design and the logo very good. Um, and how do you plan to differentiate yourself from existing tailors slash clothing repair shop owners? Dus Hassan, de vraag is, uh, hoe verwacht je dat jij anders kan zijn dan andere mensen die uh, op maat gemaakte kleding maken? Uh, hoe bedoel je? Uh, yeah. Ja, dus hoe, hoe kan jij anders zijn dan je competitie? Uh, dan, dan de andere kleding moda in de market? Precies, ja. Ja, uh, ja ik, ben, ik, ik heb... Uh... Met mijn klant moet uh, besproken. De klant kan zijn uh, ontwerp kiezen aan de stof. Ik advies, de eerlijkheid is belangrijk bij mij. De eerlijkheid en denken aan de klant. Ja, yeah. yeah. oké. Okay. So Hassan uh, was saying like the, the fairness uh, is really important. He wants to sit down together with the, with the customer and uh, design together with the customer. Let the customer choose the fabric, uh, the sustainability, the quality. Um, so he really wants to not only be the, uh, the only person doing the design, but wants to have some co-ownership with, uh, yeah, with uh, the, the customer. Um, then Hassan, another question is, what is your plan to promote yourself and your business? This in the Netherlands, what, uh, yeah, what is the plan for the marketing? Who ga you yourself and your business promote? Yeah, uh, via my client and via social media. Ja, ja, via mijn klanten. Ja, klanten kunnen mond tot mond uh, promotie maken voor mijn uh, werk. Als de klant uh, tevreden zijn, dan ik uh, naar de succes uh, volg gaan. Ja, dank je wel. Um, so Hassan is saying he wants to do a lot with social media and of course when people are, are happy and satisfied uh, with more worth to mouth uh, uh, recommendations. And also, if I may add something, Hassan, um, we had the idea of doing the Sayu fashion design experience, uh, and a date will be announced soon, where people can join, and we will uh, share our uh, ideas on the social media, I think on his uh, Instagram, uh, and people can join the Sayu fashion experience where they, together with Hassan, can uh, make a temporary design, uh, and perhaps to look, um, yeah, if they actually want Hassan to make the clothes for him. For, for her. Um, are there any other questions? Oh yeah, I see a nice question here. Does he use some tech programs in his design? Hassan, the vraag is, uh, gebruik je ook technologie voor je design? Uh, technologie, ja, yeah, ik denk bij nu bezig uh, de hele wereld met technologie, maar welke technologie ga ik gebruiken? Ja, yeah, dus yeah. de, vraag, de vraag is een beetje, of jij ook uh, voor je schetsen en voor het maken van je kleding, dus uh, ook ja, bepaalde software of, of programma's gebruikt? Uh, ik heb, uh, nee, ik heb uh, geen met uh, technologie omgaan. Nee. Ik ben gewoon kleding uh, ontwerpen, kleding maken, handgemaakt. Schetsen, ja. Handgemaakt, ja. Dus, uh, ja. Maar misschien uh, later iets uh, mooi. Uh, de technologie helpt het heel veel. Ja. ja. Okay, so everyone for in English, Hassan was uh, saying that. He is still uh, using just normal pen and paper to make his designs and his sketches. Um, he, he might be able to use some, some programs or some tech in the future, but that's not his current uh, uh, desire um, because he just likes the old fashioned way of making a design on paper. And that works best for him as well. Let's see, are there any other questions from the audience? Um, then a question from me, Hassan, what is your expertise? So in, in, in Dutch, uh, wel, welk kledingstuk vind je het leukst om te maken of kan je het beste maken? Uh, casual kleding, uh, blazers, uh, broeken, uh, blouses, ja, yeah, alles voor vrouwen. Ja, yeah, jurken, yeah, alles voor vrouwen. Ja. Yeah. Alle kleding voor vrouwen, ja. Yeah. Oké, okay, so Hassan's, uh, Hassan's uh, answer was like basically everything for, for women. Uh, casual clothing from, from blazers to, to dresses, 
uh, can be a bit more fancy, but yeah, so he's uh, he can he can do everything, uh, which is really nice. Yeah. He also made some uh, really nice designs for the student consultants in our team, uh, which were shown throughout the presentation. Um, and that's basically what, uh, yeah, everything that Hassan can do. Um, yeah. All right, the last question I see from Maria. What was your best experience in the FI program? Uh, dus in Nederlands, Hassan, wat was je beste ervaring van het, van het incubator programma? Ja, ik heb uh, heel mooie ervaring uh, gehad uh, met uh, dit programma. Uh, de analyse en uh, problemen in de marketing. Hoe kan oplossing uh, vinden? Uh, wie is mijn doelgroep? Uh, ja, ik heb heel veel uh, geleerd. Ja, ik ben helemaal trots. Ja, ja, er zijn te veel dingen, ja, maar, maar het belangrijkste hoe kan als ik uh, uh, nieuwe ondernemer in Nederland kan ik starten met veilig manier met uh, heel veel informatie dus ja yeah. ja yeah. nice so basically Hassan said there were so many nice things to choose from uh, it goes from finding finding solutions uh, finding the, the the customer problems um, but also like searching for for innovative and creative ways to do the marketing um and he's very proud that he was able to complete the program uh, and work with uh, with the team and then also from from my part Hassan I'm very proud of you uh, I think the, the the pitch went very well uh also with uh, all the things that have been happening the last few weeks in in Syria and Turkey uh, I'm really proud of your hard work and the dedication still uh so uh, yeah really really well done um, and then I see one final question, Hassan. Uh, do you already have an office? Is heb je nu al een werkplek? Nee. Nee. Ik zo, ik ben op zoek uh, naar een werkplek in Rotterdam of in Den Haag. Ja. De, dan ik zal verhuizen uh, wonen daar, uh, op mijn gezin. Ja. Dat moet uh, dichter bij mijn uh, huis. Dat is het belangrijkste. Oké, okay, so uh, for everyone. Hassan is looking for, uh, he still doesn't have a place to work. Uh, right now he's working from his home. But with four kids, it's not the ideal situation to work from. Uh, so he's looking for a place in uh, Rotterdam or uh, The Hague. Um, so if anyone has any connections to, to some place where Hassan can work, please reach out to him. Uh, and it would be very valuable. We do have some, uh, a, a, some talks tomorrow with someone in Rotterdam. That would be for a temporary workplace though. <clears throat> so we hope that it uh, can fill his, his uh, desires in, in just uh, for the upcoming months. But is, if anyone has anything uh, permanent, that would be great. Yeah, I see Michael just posted uh, the links again of his Instagram and, and LinkedIn. Please go follow those. On his Instagram, you can see some more pictures of uh, his design process. Uh, and the clothes that he made for the student consultants already. So please, everyone, uh, yeah, click on those links and follow follow, follow Hassan. Um, then I see one more question from Maria. Uh, so why exactly those places, Hassan? So why would you want, uh, sorry, uh, Hassan, who's precisely in Rotterdam of Den Haag? Uh, in Rotterdam and Den Haag uh, have been heel veel uh, bedrijven. Heel veel vrouwen hebben uh, uh, yeah, uh, zoeken iets chic en uniek uh, kleden en zo kunnen betalen. Heel veel vrouwen met heel uh, hoog inkomen ook. En um, ja, yeah, uh, met drukke uh, steden altijd voor de moda uh, kan ik meer klanten bereiken. Bijvoorbeeld in Bergen of Zoom uh, kan niet klanten bereiken. Ja, yeah, dus uh, jij krijgt misschien binnen een jaar vijf klanten of tien klanten dan maar die krijgt per maand in uh, Rotterdam. Ja, yeah, ja, yeah, dank je wel. Um, so in English, <clears throat> basically in his hometown of Bergen op Zoom, um, the market is way smaller. Uh, in Rotterdam or The Hague, there are a lot more women uh, or more, more interested in fashion um, and they have higher incomes in generally. So uh, he's looking uh, for, for his target group uh, for women between the 30s and 60s um, that have a mid to high income because sustainable fashion that is tailor-made, of course, uh, costs a little extra than the fast fashion industry. Um, so yeah, 
basically that's why he wants to go to the the Randstad and Rotterdam as of now is just uh, closest to his home in Bergen op Zoom. Great. Thank you a lot, Sander. Thank you a lot, Hassan. Thank great you. Answers, great speech. So, yes, uh, let's go now to voting. The voting will appear now in your screen. Um, I will also... Um, wait. Um, I will ask Michal. Yes, he's already presenting it. And uh, you have now uh, one minute to uh, vote for your favorite entrepreneur. And this is quite um, tricky, but uh, I know for sure that you already have your favorite. So yeah, don't forget, please uh, uh, vote now. I will present also the uh, entrepreneurs that pitched today. So it was Asad with Asad Comedy, Fatima with Your Visual Media, and Asan with CEO of Fashion Design. So I can get you quickly through the programs at Forward. Uh, don't forget to get in touch. Um, this is why you should get in touch. Um, I will pass this part, but I'm for sure you'll get a lot of benefits. And uh, this is our programs. Um, and we'll start with DP and then move to Forward Accelerator. Uh, we also have mentorship program. So for those that don't know, uh, we support entrepreneurs to create, launch and grow their business. Um, this is how you can apply for DEP if you have a business and you like to put it in practice. Um, moving on, if you don't have a business but you want to become a coach, here is also the link. You can scan it and to be a student consultant and support the entrepreneur in many different tasks, please also scan this. Um, Forward is always looking for people to uh, share their expertise and increase our professional network. So please scan this link if you would like to be part of our community. Uh, quickly, we are already uh, running out of time. So next, uh, next part will be winning ceremony. So don't forget, please stay until the end and you'll get to know who is the final winner in next session. So once again, this is our entrepreneurs and um, I think we can um, close our voting now. Um, okay, we have 10 seconds. Um, so I will count down 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And the winner is Asan. Congratulations, Asan. You won. Please come to the stage um, very quickly um, just to say thank you and to to us to know how you feel. Asan? Yeah. Great, congratulations. Yeah, bedankt. Bedankt. Ik verwacht <laughs> geen uh, winnaar te worden, maar dat uh, is te groot voor mij. Erg bedankt. Uh, ik ben trots. Ja, yeah. ik heb geen meer woorden. <laughs> yeah. Great, congrats Hassan. Ik verwacht geen uh, winnaar woorden, ja. Yeah. Wow, Thanks. really good. So Hassan yeah. just, just told, uh, told us, um, He's really surprised by, by winning. Uh, he's out of words, uh, but he's really grateful for everyone that voted for him. Uh, yeah, and just an amazing experience. Hassan, I'm really proud of you. Well yeah, done. Bedankt, bedankt voor iedereen. Bedankt, gemeente Bergen op Zoom. Door de gemeente Bergen op Zoom, ik ben hier. Ook bedankt voor Forward Inc., voor mijn team, voor iedereen. Ja, uh, yeah. yeah, heel erg bedankt. Perfect. I think everyone could follow that. He was thanking his municipality, Bergen op Zoom, for connecting him to Forward. And then, of course, everyone from the Forward team and uh, all the people that joined him uh, and, and today at the Demo Day. Great. Thank you a lot, both. Congratulations, yeah. Asan, once again, and also to Sander and the whole team. Um, for sure, you support really well, Asan, and it's amazing to see the results. Um, so yeah, now it's time to uh, move to the winner ceremony. So I will um, show you how you can actually leave. First, you need to go to the lobby session where you have all the sessions and then you click in join the winner ceremony. To leave this session, you just need to click in leave webinar and uh, yeah, see you in the, web, uh, the winner ceremony and I hope you enjoy um, this session.
Thank you a lot, everyone. Bye.